Hi friends, welcome back to Art Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to learn about nested form array. In the previous episode we learned about form array and we did some use cases about how to use form array with single elements with, sing with simple form controls and also with form group. So if you have missed the previous tutorial, this tutorial will certainly not be helpful. So I recommend you, you please check out the previous tutorial on form array. The list is, uh, the link is in the description box below. Welcome back. My name is Sridhar. I, I bring over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer. I'm here to share my knowledge with you and also to learn from you all. During the course of this tutorial series, we are covering some complex code samples, some explanations, so if you find yourself asking some doubts, having some queries, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I'll try and help you as much as I can. Thank you in advance. So I have put together around 50 tutorials so far on Angular 9 and the playlist is in the description box below. Please do check it out to master and learn Angular 9. All right, so I'll jump right into it. So we have been, we are working with Angular forms in last couple of episodes. We, in the previous episode, we learned about form array, very, very important uh, topic when it comes to reactive forms, when working with complex form settings. Uh, today's episode is, we are going to cover some use cases on nested form array and also do some operations on the array. So like I mentioned earlier at the beginning, this is a continuation series, uh, continuous uh, tutorial. So we learned about the form array in the previous tutorial, which is tutorial number 52. This is the continuation of the same. So please do check that out to make so that there is a continuation and it makes sense to you. All right. So we have seen that, you know, uh, form arrays in the previous episode, we learned that we can group multiple form controls. We can group multiple form groups into an array and this is required when you are working with some complex form requirements involving dynamic items. When I say dynamic items, I mean we should be able to add, we should be able to remove, we should be able to set, reset the array. So basically anything that we can do with an array, we can do with form arrays, right? So we will learn how to add and remove that in later in the tutorial, but today the focus is on the array manipulation. So some of the use cases that we'll cover today are about the form R, how do we set values? How do we get the details from the array and how do we process that array? But before we jump into it, let me show you the example that we have built in the previous. So if you see this example that we did, it had two form controls, right? So we created an array which has only two simple form controls. But like I said, these such use cases will be very, very rare in a good website. It will always be mostly little complex than just having a simple form controls. So it will mostly be having a group or a multiple group, right? So you can have one group or you can have two groups. Doesn't matter. You can have something else. Let's say task ID, task name, etc. So, so the idea you get the idea that an array can be of a simple form controls or it can be as complex as having multiple groups into an array, right? So once we have this array, right, in the, we can do a lot of manipulation with it. For example, let's say I want to, on in it, I want to try and get the length of this array. So I'll say form checkout dot get items dot value dot length, right? So this will give me the length of the forms item. Now here I have only one, right, in the group. So I should see only one as the value. Let's reload. Okay, so we see in the console it shows one, right? That is about this. Now I want to get the details of it. So we can say, just print the value of that items. So now it is printing me an array, which has the item ID, item name, item description, item done. Now let's say I want to print the f first value, right? 
So here I'm going to say get the items of zero dot value. So it will print me the zero the value, but in that I want a certain value of it, right? So I want value value. So here we can extract the let's say for example I'm going to say I want this entire value. I will take it into a variable. Let's say item lock item value of item, item let's say name right uh, okay uh, object access wire is disallowed okay let's first print this item well and see what we get okay so here it's printing the value and so I'm going to take it as an array here instead of that right so now I have the array now I'm going to say dot item name so that way uh, the idea you get the idea that you know it's extracting the value here you see arc and then I can say item dot description so now it will extract tutorials right so you get the idea that in the array so this is a form array you can set you can um, you can remove you can add you can do anything kind of operations now let's try and set a value for this so I'm going using this form, so I'm going to copy this for a minute here. That's much easy to do that, right? So here I'm going to say this dot checkout dot checkout form dot get items, and I'm going to to say dot dot. Now we have seen in the previous episodes we can use set value and we can use patch value, right? So patch value we'll use when we don't know which items to set, but when we use get value we have to set values for all the all the details. So here I'm saying dot set values. Here I'm saying learning angular. So see now I'm going to set a value in this array. Okay, so it looks like there is an error. Okay, let's see that. Uh, set value. All right, so you see now learning Angular 9. So we are setting the value of it, right? But now if I print the value after I set it, now you should see those values. So what will happen now is, it will build the form with these default values. Then it will set the new values here and then print the value. So it has learning Angular 9. And if you see here, it's printing Angular 9, right? So this is how we can set the value. We can also do a push, right? That's what we are going to learn it in the next um, tutorial. But before I leave you one last operation on this, which is you can directly say reset right so what i'm doing here is once it has done printing of the values i'm just resetting the array right now i don't want to reset the entire form instead i just want to reset the array so what i will do is again you copy the array dot reset right so what we are doing here is only resetting the array here so now you see it's blank because it has reset it let me show you again so it sets the value it prints the value and then it resets it right so these are some of the array operations that you can do on form array that is getting getting length getting individual array item or array element I would say 
you can also get array um, you can set array values for elements you can reset array right so there are there are multiple possibilities so in in short i can say whatever you can do with an array you can do it with form array right so that's the beauty of it i hope um, you have enjoyed this and i hope you have learned it um, clearly in the next tutorial we are going to add some dynamic rows to this particular form array we are going to add some dynamic items we are going to learn how to add and how to remove it in the coming sections stay tuned for that if you like this video give a thumbs up if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please do so thank you so much in advance